What's up everybody, Greg here with Lens Pro to Go and Lens Rentals, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at some camera tests of a brand new camera from Canon, the EOS R. Now this is their full frame mirrorless camera that comes with a brand new RF mount, as well as a few new lenses. Now this lens we didn't use in our testing because it's a little bit too slow, this is the 24 to 105 f4. We opted to go with the Sigma 50 1.4 and use the adapter. There's two reasons for this. One, like I just said, is that this lens is too slow. And the other reason is we can also use a 50 millimeter 1.4 on the Nikon Z7. So we can really compare how these sensors stack up in sort of an apples to apples. So the two tests we're gonna run this through is first the high ISO performance. So going from 100 all the way up to 12,800. And then we're gonna jump over and do some exposure recovery. So over and under exposing the image and see how much we can actually bring back in post-production, all recording internally. So we shot in 4K, which does give you a little bit of a crop on the sensor. Sensor. And then we also shot in C log, so we're going to go from a log to a graded image. All the camera settings that I used for this test are all going to be in the description below, so go and check those out if you want to see exactly what we used. So let's start with the first test looking at the high ISO performance. So starting off with ISO 100, we're going from C log, which is a flat color profile, to a graded 709 or wide DR image using the Canon LUTs. Up in the upper right hand corner you can see a 300% crop in on the image and this is so you can see what the ISO is actually doing at specific levels. Going up to 400 ISO, this is the native ISO for C-Log. If you go below this, you start to see a little bit of noise introduction, you can get some banding. So 400 is where you really want to stay. Going up to 800 ISO, we're still having a really clean image. We are starting to see a little bit of dancing around in those darker, blacker areas but it all looks pretty clean. Going up to 1600 ISO, again, just a little more of that dancing around, but no color noise has been introduced. Going up to 3200 ISO, this is still looking really, really solid from this sort of backed out view. Once you're zooming in, you do start to see a lot more of that dancing around. Then up to 6400, even more so now you can really start to see it even in that zoomed out view. And then once we go up to 12,800, we're gonna start seeing a little bit of color noise introduced, seeing some greens and magentas in there, and we're starting to see a lot of dancing around. So that was the high ISO performance test of the Canon EOS R. It's pretty impressive what some of these mirrorless cameras can do nowadays. Next up, let's take a look at the exposure recovery test to see how well this footage holds up in over and underexposed environments. So starting with our correct exposure, we're at an F8, 1 of a second, and we're at 400 ISO, which is the base for C-Log like I mentioned earlier. We're going to start by underexposing the image. On the left, you can see our actual shot, and on the right is what we've been able to bring back in post-production. So going to two stops underexposed, we're getting a little bit dark in some of the shadow areas, and you can already start to see that in this recovered shot, looking right underneath that 2x4 at the top, you can see quite a bit of dancing around and that noise. Going to three stops under, we're getting pretty dark on the actual shot, and we're starting to see a little bit of a color shift towards the magentas and a lot more dancing around. Going to four stops underexposed, this is even darker and we're seeing more of that and even a little bit of possibly banding as we try to bring back that image. Going to five stops under, this is super dark and you can see we're getting some sensor flickering and a lot of digital noise in there, those greens and magentas, and we're having a desaturated image. Going back to our correct exposure for a second, and then we're gonna go in the opposite direction and overexpose the image. So going to one stop overexposed, again on the left side is the actual shot, on the right side is the recovered shot. And we're able to keep most of the information in here. Even going to two stops overexposed, you can still see all the details in those highlight areas that are being blown out, like the mug on the wall and the little paint wheel on the right side. Going to three stops overexposed, we're getting pretty bright on our actual shot now, but we're able to recover that and definitely have a usable image. Once we go to four stops overexposed, we're gonna start losing a ton of detail and it pretty much just like, it's a pretty hard drop off from three stops to four stops of what you can recover. Then to five stops, we're super overexposed here and we're definitely washed out and we're not able to recover any of that information in post-production. So that's gonna wrap it up for all of the tests of the Canon EOS R. If you guys wanna learn more about this camera, I have another video sort of going through all of the new updates and sort of changes since they're coming from a mirrorless world and kind of what they've done to add and really make this a really awesome camera. So if you wanna check that out, it's gonna be linked to at the end of this video, as well as some of the other camera tests that we've done on a bunch of other cameras. If you wanna get your hands on one, there's links to rent them down in the description below with all of the lenses and bodies and mounts and stuff that we carry currently and the new stuff that's gonna be coming out down the line. If you guys enjoyed these videos make sure to hit that like button subscribe for new videos every single week and I'll see you in the next one